Before I owned an Apple Mac, I thought exactly the same thing as you. If you're a PC user watching this, you'll probably think one thing, they're overpriced for what you actually get. But there's something you're not taking into account. Let's get into it. Howdy folks, this is Shane, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and also click that little bell. You'll get notifications anytime I upload a new video. If you do have anything to add to the discussion as well, you can comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So a little bit about me right now, I'm a full-time YouTuber. No, not on this channel, but on another channel. And I do videos across a number of channels actually and video editing and video production and being the host is what I do now. So. This has come from a PC IT background as well. I was in IT for years. I'm a qualified Microsoft specialist. I built all of my own computers up until about two, two years ago, about two and a half years ago. And then I went over and basically spent more money than I've ever spent on almost anything. I'm buying a 27 inch iMac. This is the 2015 model. So it's kind of getting old right now. I can't wait till I release a new one. And I can't believe I'm actually saying that. I'm going to explain Maybe one of the misconceptions I had about Apple computers and how I feel about them now coming from a PC background where I could build a much better computer for less money. And I put better in quotations because one of the first things that you'll know is if you can compare an iMac, for example, to a PC, you can build a much better PC in terms of hardware than what you can buy just grabbing whatever Apple is out at that particular moment in time. But if you're into video editing like I am, I use Final Cut Pro 10 now. I'm an old school Sony Vegas 10, 11, 12, and 13 user. I moved over to Final Cut. I've never looked back. While I did go out, I spent a shitload of money on one of these computers. I have to tell you, it was well worth it. The productivity, the time saved, all that kind of stuff was so much better. Now, I never used Adobe Premiere. I know a lot of guys love that, and it's probably way more reliable now than it was. I had an older version back in the day. It was terrible. So for me to go from Sony Vegas, which was really glitchy, really slow to render files, to get over, this is in the 1080p days before 4K, which I'm shooting with right now. I took that same file and I put it into the Mac and I exported it in under a minute. It took me 60 minutes on my old PC with a better CPU. There were so many glitches, the software used to crash on the PC, all that kind of stuff. Just everything seems to work better. I was in a position where I could have either built another computer and hoped that it worked better with the software that I had, or I could have just gone out and got a Mac where the software is written with the hardware in mind. One of the great things about Final Cut, it not only uses the CPU when it's doing the background rendering or rendering, it also uses the GPU. And even if it's not top of the line, having that combination that works well together will outperform my much better computer in my other room, which is a PC with the software that I had. That's the one thing about editing on a PC. Sure, you can build a pretty reliable system, but not always the software is optimized to work with the hardware. It's just the case that there's so many hardware components out there, they can't be written for all of it. If you go buy a Mac and you put Final Cut on it, it's gonna work. This is the great thing about the Apple Mac that I have. It's a 2015, like I mentioned, it's kind of old, but it handles 4K 50p, no problems at all. I can put many layers of video on top of each other, create masks and all that kind of stuff, and it's gonna work fine. I've shot and edited over three, maybe 400 videos on it now since I've had it. I've had no problems at all, not like I had with my old PC. So keep into account the most important thing about being a video editor or being a YouTuber is the fact you wanna save time and do things productively. It's so hard to go out and buy one coming from a PC background. And like I said, I'm a Microsoft nerd. That's what I did for years. I built computers, I fixed computers, all that kind of stuff. And it's just one of those things where, you know what, I sort of went, I might just build another PC and hope for the best or Maybe I should just try a Mac. And I don't work for Apple or anything like that, but they said, take it for 14 days. If you don't like it, bring it back. And I thought, you know what, that's pretty good. I remember the first time I rendered out a 1080p file, it took less than one minute and it was a 10 minute project with two or three different layers of video and three layers of audio. And it was super fast. I was stunned how quick it exported this particular project. And I went, wow. And this is an i5, I could have just built an i7 PC and, and, and expected it to be better, but it wouldn't have been better. The reason it wouldn't have been better is because the software is optimized for the hardware, it works together, it pulls from the GPU, 
And like I mentioned, there are some software for PCs that are a bit like that, but not to the same extent. I really feel like Final Cut just works great, especially for what I need it for, for making mostly guitar videos and now tech videos as well. I've been on YouTube for 11 years on my other channel and I've produced over 2,400 videos and the ones I've produced on the Mac not only look way better in terms of the just all the stock and bog standard effects that come with it as opposed to Sony Vegas, just the workflow is so much better. Once you get used to the magnetic timeline, you'll save yourself so much time and for me, just saving time is one of the most important things in the world. Thanks for watching, my name's Shane. I hope this video has been a little bit insightful. If you're a video editor and you've been stuck on a PC or you're dissatisfied with it, you've been thinking about buying a Mac, but you don't want to blow a whole lot of money on something that's not state of the art, and I put that in quotations, it won't matter. Even some of these newer, if you buy a 2017 iMac in 2018, it's gonna outperform mine and it's gonna be fine for 4K, it's gonna be fine for 1080p, it's gonna be blitzed through all of that stuff. So. There's a lot of people who will probably disagree with this, but this is coming from someone who's been doing this 11 years and I've spent so much time on PCs over the years. Going to a Mac has just saved me so much time in my particular case. If you're on a PC and it works fine and it does things nice and quick, then you don't have to do anything. I'm not trying to convert you over. I'm just trying to give you a little bit of insight into why I swapped and why I will never go back to using a PC, even if I build it myself. I might though, build a Hackintosh at some point and just run the hardware that I know that works extremely well, or especially the GPU in particular that works really well with Final Cut. I think that's just one of those things that would be great too. So build a Hackintosh if you don't want to go spend big bucks if you're into it, but uh, yeah, for me, I'm pretty happy with my Mac and it saves a lot of space on the desk. It just looks good as well. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell if you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you soon. See ya.